Hello everyone, welcome to another video on our YouTube channel. Today we're going to show you what has gone into the process of making the sound files for the Black Fives. So we've started from scratch, we have worked with Zemo UK, and we've gone out and recorded two uh, Black Fives on the main line. <laughs> So this video is aimed to give you an idea of what we've done to capture the iconic sounds of the Stania Black 5. Uh, we're going to show you today as to what the model does and we're going to give you a little brief insight as to how we went about and getting the recordings for the engines. So for the sound project we managed to contact Locomotive Services Group and Ian Riley, both of which own Armstrong Whitworth Black 5s. So for the sound recording process for both engines. For 45407, we turned up at Tom Nefer up at Fort William, and with a handful of microphones and cables, essentially. The same process was repeated for both both locomotives, 45407 and 45231, where we placed microphones up above the front of the smoke box facing towards the chimney, and up by the side of the firebox facing towards the safety valves. We also got two microphones underneath near the motion to give us a full suite of sounds, giving us the exhaust beat, the safety valves, the whistles, and the, the motion clank. The recording process for 45407 was a little bit more involved than 45231 in the suite of sounds. Both locomotives are air pump fitted, so with this we had to try and isolate the air pumps whilst on shed so we could get a clear uh, engine exhaust sound. The crew of 45407 were very kind to us. It, the local had previously been fitted with a chime whistle, which is non-standard to a Black 5. Uh, but he's favoured amongst the Riley crew. So with the Stania whistle being iconically noticeable across the range of all the engines, the guys at Riley's very kindly changed their chime whistle out to the original or what should be on that engine. Both crews on 5407 and 5231 gave us a wide variety of whistles and, and toots and peeps and Especially on the on the trip with 45231, we were sat at T-Base Services with the big rolling hills behind us. Uh, and we must have sounded the whistle six or seven times in different patterns, different notes, different varieties, uh, just to give us that suite of, of sounds for the project, essentially. So with a steam engine, it makes several sounds from different places, all at different volumes and there's different pitches. So one key thing for, for us whilst we were micing the engines up was to sit there for, for a little while and just listen to the, where the sounds came from on the engine, what was important. The safety valves are obviously a key feature. Anybody who's been near one on the platform will tell you they're deafening. The same with the exhaust beat, that's a really notable, notable noise. So both Paul and I, we, we walked around the engine listening for little creaks and groans and hisses and where it was relevant we felt we put a microphone. So in the end, on both engines, we we laced the locomotive with microphones all over just essentially to capture what we feel is the proper sound of steam. So one thing we have done with this engine and this model particularly is with the mainline options now available, obviously with the two from the Armstrong Whitworth batch and there's still a couple more Black Fives on the main line, a lot of these have now been upgraded with air brakes. With that, you can hear the Westinghouse pumping, the Exilinder saw exhaust. So one thing we have chosen to do with the model is it is included as a feature as the sound functions. You can change two CVs, one of which gives you the air brakes, which comes in on top of your exhaust sound. We've also added Ian Riley's chime whistle from his 45407 as a little feature. Both the air pump and the chime whistle are accessible on the chip via a separate CV change, which will be noted in the user notes. So the sound project in our Black 5 is now on a Zemo MS950, which is one of the newest chips that they've produced. With this, it's been designed via Paul for the sound project, and we've worked very closely together to get the best out of both the chip and the sounds for the chip. What we have done is included the ever popular active braking feature on function key two, which allows you to coast until you apply the brake application and then the train will start to stop. One of the key features we've designed for this model with ourselves and Paul is a coal drive and fire feature, which allows you to sort of drive the loco as a, 
as a crew would. Not only can you control the acceleration and deceleration of the engine, you've also got to be responsible for the coaling and the watering of the engine. This is set on a timer, so once you haven't put coal or water into the engine for a little while, you will lose steam pressure and the locomotive will stop. Now this is a feature that is further down the function list, so you can't accidentally activate it if it's not something you'd like to play with. We will show you how this works further on in the video. So another key feature of this model is on function keys 3 and 4 you get variable whistles. These are entirely speed dependent and the faster the engine goes, the longer and bigger the whistles get. So with everything, as you can see, the detail level we go to in manufacturing our engines, we also put into the sound projects for our engines. We've entirely tailored a new bespoke project for this locomotive, as we feel that nothing would have been better than having something unique to your own engine. And we hope that when you start to receive your sound fitted Black 5s, that you really will see the effort and the quality that's gone into this sound project for you. So although this is a comprehensive sound project for this model, we will be supplying you with all the information and details, both within your model on delivery, and there will be a website page dedicated solely to the user notes for this project. So with a project of this size, it simply wouldn't have been possible to get the level of detail that we have done in the sound project. We'd just like to extend a massive thanks to Paul Chester for his hard work on the project, Ian Riley for allowing us around 45407, and the guys at Locomotive Services Group to allow us the day with 45231. Thank you. Thanks everyone for watching. We're super excited for you guys to start receiving these in the post or picking them up at shows. Until then, we'll see you soon.